guys, I'm back again. Let me tell you, it is so hot and muggy here. I know I really don't have room to complain because a lot of you really live in areas where you have the actual change of seasons and weather. For those of us who are not used to it, even though I was born in Indiana, we moved out here when I was five, I'm really a California girl. And so I like that dry heat. However, I do enjoy the, some humidity, like when we went to Florida for vacation a few times, I really did like that feel on my skin and everything. Wasn't good for the hair, but I enjoyed the temperature and everything. It kept my skin nice and moist, but this muggy humidity that we're experiencing right now because there's some kind of hurricane off of Mexico or something like that, this sucks. Pardon my French. This, this is like, ugh. So... I had to put my hair up today. I got a little fun bun going on up here just to keep the hair off my neck and everything, but I'm just hot. Okay, let's get to why I am filming today. I went to the 99 cent store. I had a few errands to run and a couple of places that I wanted to go, but I ran out of money and um, I had to go to post office, but that still didn't stop me from buying a few things. So went to the post office first, went to Rite Aid to pick up my prescriptions, and I'm happy to say I am down to two prescriptions from 16 when I first, the first onset of getting sick. And so I started off taking 16 different medications, now I'm down to two. And the two that I take, one for migraines and one for anxiety attacks, and they're coming further and further far in between, except for the migraines, they kind of come in peaks and valleys, but I still have to have it on hand just in case for when one does happen to kick in. Um, I take that back. I'm still on some uh, blood pressure medicine and heart medicine, but we're weaning from that. So I was taking 16 different medications because they were my body was so out of whack out of the episode that I went through. So I am very happy that I am down to the few that I need to take. So that was part of my errands today. I went to the 99 cent store and I wanted to go to Michael's, Target, and Walmart, but I didn't make it up there uh, because my prescriptions cost a little bit more than I thought. And like I said, I only carry cash with me, so that keeps me within a certain, you know, spending frame. And then when I came back towards the house, I decided to stop off at the Dollar Tree. So. Let's jump into what I purchased from the 99 cent store. Now, work with me here. Even though we don't have like the full change of seasons here in Southern California, yeah, you'll see a couple of trees that they plant like in parks and stuff like that where you see the leaves change, but nothing like what a lot of you in the Midwest and or Mideast and Midwest and, and the East Coast experience. We just don't have that. So I try to do whatever I can here in the house to make it have that fall and autumn feeling and everything because we can sometimes on Christmas Day and Thanksgiving have a temperature of 85 degrees. It has happened where on Christmas morning we get up and we put on shorts and flip flops and tank tops because it's 85 degrees outside. It doesn't really work, you know, talk about apples to oranges, but sometimes that's what our Christmas and our Thanksgiving can be like. So. But I still tried to incorporate the holiday and the seasonal change in the house. So, for my dining room table, I don't do all the rooms. I'll do the bathrooms and I'll do the dining room table and parts of the kitchen and I'll throw up a couple of things in the living room. So, once I put down my autumn tablecloth, I purchased these four chargers. Aren't those beautiful? Look at that. It's got like a basket weave. It's brown. Browned. <laughs> I was trying to say brown and bronze. Bronzed and I said browned. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like brown. Isn't that nice for a dollar? I bought four of those and then I bought this little Harvest Happy Table Decor. That's what it's called. You get six pieces in here. The two pumpkins, the squash, and three little pine cones. So my thought process is to put it in the middle of the plate. Okay. So I bought four of those. And then as my centerpiece in the middle of my table, the runner area, I purchased this autumn garland. Okay, and which will also go with these autumn picks that I bought 
to go on the table. So you'll have two of these and then, or I think I bought three of these because I, I there was one that was a little different and, okay, so these are going to be the two ends, okay, and then I bought another one because it didn't have the pumpkins, but it has the flowers, so I could pick this apart and kind of fill it up a little bit more. And remember I showed you my, my scarecrows that I bought? One or maybe two will go on the table. So I'll have the chargers with the little autumn pieces, the pumpkins and squash and the pine cones, and then I'll have this as part of the runner. That will be my runner. And I'll have the garland weaving in and out or going around it. And then to bring a little light to the table, look, I found many orange lights. Oh, how great is that? And my husband being an electrician, he can turn this into a battery operated a light string of lights for me so I bought two of those and this was all they had and I was happy luckily enough to come across these someone just stuck them somewhere they didn't want them and I guess maybe these were in the well they say Halloween happy Halloween so these must have been in the Halloween section I didn't even think to look over there but I saw these in orange and so I grabbed those up so that's gonna light up the centerpiece of my table with the chargers and the little you know pumpkins and squash and all that in the middle of the table so that takes care of my my table and like i said you saw the the scarecrows and stuff like that so that's what i bought as far as like autumn decoration in the house also when i was there now correct me i got real thrilled <laughs> because i came across a pair uh, a, a pad of white post-it notes. I've never seen white post-it notes. I know that is not new. It can't be new. But I bought it because it's white post-it notes. I have not seen white post-it notes. Have you? I see them in, I've seen them in every color. It also has a yellow one in there. I've seen them in every color, but I have yet to come across a white pad, a, a pad of white post-it notes. So I had to get it because I'm just like, oh, they have white. Oh my gosh. Gotta get it. So I bought it. I also bought, okay, my thought process behind this, even though this is a headband, my thought process behind this was to use this on my Hello Kitty travel diary as the band to hold it together. Now it's not stuffed or anything, but I just think I like it to stay, you know, together, like when I'm putting it um, in and out of the case or whatever. I don't want it to accidentally open up and then a couple of the pages get bent and I don't know it until I pull it out again. So I bought this and it's a little girl's headband. So I went ahead and I bought that because I'm thinking in my mind I need, you know, one for my my brown arc, my entertainment arc, so that can stay closed because it doesn't have a snap. And it's not too full, but it's going to get full and so I just I just like them to have a band on them. I also picked up three different Gel Perfect nail polish. Where's the third one? I know it's in here somewhere. Because these normally cost about, now I know it's probably Sally Henson's uh, brand, but I even think it's this Nutrinel brand at Walmart that sometimes costs like $15. So I bought Captivated which is like a very nice burgundy color. I also purchased Enamored, which is like an army green. That's kind of different. And then I purchased Tangerine, and we all know what Tangerine is. It's orange, a very bright orange. So I went ahead and I purchased these. I've always wanted to try the gel, you know, uh, nail kit. Now I do have the gel whole stuff to do your nails yourself. I have the UV light, I have the gel, it's, I have everything. If, if I have everything. But that takes way too many steps to get it done and everything and I just, you know, I'm not into that, doing that right now. I'm out of that phase. So I thought I'd go ahead and give this a shot for a dollar. I think this time around I will go with the orange just to shock everyone and we'll see what this does and it says it's supposed to last for two weeks or something like that and we'll see
Okay, so I purchased that. I purchased, okay, <laughs> I purchased this fashion glove. Why? I'm not sure. You get two, one for each hand, but I just like it because I think what I'm going to do is bling it up some kind of way. Pardon me, bling it up some kind of way. And it's just another fun something to have on your hand. I don't know. It caught my eye. It was a dollar. A couple of more of these post-it note pads. I thought that was really cute. And then I purchased that one. And I'm on this kick of readers. I have Joy Mangano. I have two sets of her sunglass readers. So I have like 18 because you get nine in a set. Plus all their little bags, you know, carry cases that they come in. Then you saw my green ones that I just purchased a couple of weeks ago. You saw the other ones that I purchased the other about three or four weeks ago. And every time I come across a, a fun looking pair, I'll go ahead and get it. So here are the newest pair of readers. Now there's not a whole lot to them, they're very plain, but look at the arm. I don't know if you can see that, but look, okay, so let me put them on, and look at that. I happen to like those, and then look at the case that they come in, that they come with. I thought that was a lot of fun. You can never have too many pair of readers. These are one and a half. They feel a little crooked, but what do you expect for a dollar? Yes, these are 1.5, and I just think these are very fashionable. Now, where are my other glasses, my real glasses that I wear? They're around here somewhere. Okay, they kind of look like these. Okay, so here are these. I don't know if you can see these. Here are my regular glasses that have my actual prescription in them. And these do turn blue. And then here are my readers. My $1 readers. Pretty much the same. Not bad. So you can never have too many pair of readers in my opinion, especially if they're cute. Then I also purchased, although I have a Keurig and I also have a Dolce Gusto uh, machine, every now and then I just want to mix it up and I think I told you about these before, the Nescafe Classico Instant Coffee Packs. This is great for on the go, if you're on the road traveling and you just want a cup of coffee, you just need hot water, pour one of these in there and you're good to go. And I bought the whole case. You get eight packs in here. So there's six of them in here. Then I got to thinking, you know, that was actually a waste of money. There was six dollars for this, but I'm thinking of the convenience. That I could just take these with me wherever we go because we do, you know, like drive to Vegas a lot and things like that. Or we go up north and everything. But I'm thinking I could have just bought a pound of coffee beans, use my grinder, grind it up and everything. But again, these are for like when we're traveling or for when I get up in the morning and I just want to make a quick cup of coffee. My husband wants to make a quick cup of coffee instead of saying, oh, well, what coffee pod do you want? What flavors? Like, just make me a classic one. He can always just grab one of these, get the hot water going and, you know, make me a cup of coffee. So that's what the premise was behind all of that. So that's what I purchased at the 99 cent store today. I ran into Dollar Tree real quick just to see what other autumn decorations that they have, but I really didn't come across anything. And then also to um, one of my YouTube followers here made a comment that she likes the Lisa Frank stickers that I showed so I went back there purposely to see if I could find another one I did not and who was that last name is Foster Rebecca Foster yes I went back to see if they had any more of the Lisa Frank and they did not so I'm sorry my dear so but I'll keep looking now that I know you like Lisa Frank and so does um or Andrea Medina you said that you remember Lisa Frank so I did pick up these animals world stickers you get 250 and the, uh, the elephant was really cute, but these are these are what some of the stickers look like on here. You get glitter ones, and then you get regular stickers as well. I'm sorry for the glare, like everyone else always says. I'm sorry for the glare. They are still working on our street, but right now they're taking a break. And then these are the regular stickers. Uh, was it Melissa? There's a giraffe right there, and I'm looking for giraffe things for you, my dear. 
and then there's the rest of the stickers there. So you get glitter and regular stickers. I purchased these singles to go uh, flavored water packs, orange, crushed orange and crushed strawberry. I love crushed pop. Love it, love it, love it. I just don't like the carbonation. So when I came across these, I'm going, I can have the same flavor without all the sugar, and these are sugar-free, and you know they're going to have some sort of sweetener in here like um, a Splenda or something like that because it, it's aspartame. So they have aspartame in here. What I love about this, I can make it as strong or as weak as I, I want, and doubly, no carbonation. I don't have to worry about all that, so I don't have the burping factor later. So um, I, I like picking these up. I need to drink more water and water just tastes so blah so this just adds a little bit of something to it and I can make it as weak as I want or as strong as I want and case in point we have a glass of it right here so I like to have those on hand ladies if you have not used these you need to run out to your Dollar Tree and get these these are uh, bowl covers they're elastic they cover your bowls and let me tell you something, they keep things really super fresh much longer in your refrigerator. And I was having a hard time finding these and they moved them to the bottom shelf of my Dollar Tree. They used to be on the top shelf, but now they're on the bottom shelf. And you get 20, you get five small, eight medium, and seven large. And they're all different colors like green, red, and white so that you know what size that you're getting. And I'm telling you, they don't fit tight on the lids, they like clean wrap. However, if your bowl is too big and, and you're using the large one, and as long as it fits over it, that's all that matters, but it makes your food last much longer. I'm serious. Without it having that really tight seal like clean wrap or your Rubbermaid tops or your, your uh, um, what do you call the other one, Tupperware and all, Ziploc and all those, you need to get you a, a box of these. Trust me when I tell you. And then I am a big fan of cheese nips. My husband is Cheez-Its, I'm cheese nips And it's always a battle in the house. He'll, he does all the grocery shopping. And he'll come home and sometimes he'll buy me a box of cheese nips And then sometimes he goes to the store and he brings back a box of Cheez-Its. And I go, why do you buy those? You know I don't like them. He goes, but I do. And I go, I don't care. I don't like them. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding my cheese nips And um, they used to have them at the Dollar Tree. And when I found them, I bought all 20 boxes that they had. Well, I am a cracker and a potato chip nut. I don't care what kind of cracker it is. I don't, you know, I love plain chips, barbecue chips, sour cream and onion chips, uh, sea salt and vinegar. I like chips. I should sign up for the potato chip of the month club, but I don't want them sending me pepper chips. I just don't think that would be good. Anyway, my, my point to all this is that Dollar Tree has Busy Baker. Busy Baker is in Pleasanton, California, which is just a little, about an hour and a half north from us. So I trust that. So this is their brand or their take on cheese nips. So I'm going to give this a try and see if I like it. Or I say it, it's it's their, their take on cheese nips. It could be their take on Cheez-Its. I don't know. I've never had them, but I'm hoping that it's cheese nips. And this seems to be a pretty big brand in Dollar Tree and at the 99 cent store. So I said, okay, I'm going to take the plunge. I'm going to take a, a box and I'm going to see, I will see if I like it because they have it in wheat. They have it in the uh, cheddar squares. They have like four different flavors. And if this is good, I'll try the other flavors because like I said, I love crackers and I love snacking and things like that. So we'll give it a shot and I'll let you know. Well, that seems to be everything that I went out to go do today. Tomorrow I'll probably hit Walmart, Target, and, and uh, Michaels. What I want to get at Target is the or Orla Kylie cosmetic bag that goes along with the other organizer bag that I bought. I, I want that for part of my Sherry Michi. And I'm looking at some more elf makeup up at Target. I'm always looking to see if they have my lock and set and everything. So that's why I'm going to Target. I'm going to Michael's to take a look. They have their Project Life on sale right now. And, um, and I'm going to Walmart just to get our regular, you know, utility things that we need here around the house. So 
that's it everyone um, again it's very muggy and, and icky here so I'm going to end now so I can go take a shower and cool off because living down here by the beach all these houses here were not built with air conditioning so I have fans going throughout the whole house just to circulate the air and everything and so it'll be okay I'll survive I will okay that's it ladies thank you so much for your time um, I, I need to I need to post another video because I've received a lot of questions on some of the products that I use so I guess I need to do a product review and an update on things so let me you know put my thoughts together about that and then I'll get that all taken care of I'll post it before the end of the week all right ladies thank you so much I appreciate your time and effort for listening to me rambling on and talking about nothing and sharing my little little shopping spree of today Thank you so much. I hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. Always, always see you at the next video. And I really always want you to be blessed. Bye-bye now.